All right, guys, I'm going to make this really short video about some things that you need to know as far as making tinctures are concerned. So in these two jars, I've already um, prepared a Purple Dead Nettle Tincture. I have to let this tincture sit for about uh, five to six weeks. I decided um, instead of letting it sit for five to six weeks, I decided to let it sit for a seventh week. So that's why I pushed it to June 9th. Okay, but typically you're supposed to let your tincture sit in a cool, dark place for um, five to six weeks. Okay, when I make my tinctures, I use 100 proof vodka and I use fresh uh, plant matter or fresh herbs. Okay, so um, I'm going to give you guys some tips um, on tinctures specifically when it comes to you making a tincture. These are some things that I noticed this time around when I made this tincture. I've made a purple dead nettle, a few purple dead nettle tinctures, as well as a, a himbit uh, dead nettle tincture. And what I can tell you is the process for making a tincture is going to be uh, different every single time, depending on the herb you gather and the time of year and different things like that. Okay. So um, first tip I want to let you guys know is, is when you go out and you gather your herb, whether this be in your front yard or backyard or some area that you know the uh, that there's no pesticides or anything that are going to be around the herb or anything like that, um, what you want to do is when you are uh, gathering the herb, meaning you are uh, doing cuttings of the herbs, okay? Um, one thing you want to do is once you have made your trimmings of the herb, then what you're going to do, or, you know, cut pieces of the herb, what you're going to do is, is that it's important to go ahead and put them into a bucket. So you want to put them into like a bucket or a bowl that you already have set aside. Okay. And then you want to go ahead and bring them in the house. Um, when I bring my tinctures I'm sorry, not tinctures. When I bring my fresh uh, plant matter or fresh herbs into the house, um, after I've gathered them from outside, okay, then what I like to do is I like to wash my herbs, okay? So how I go, go through the process of washing them is I get a plastic bowl, big plastic bowl, actually, um, I don't do that yet. I let my herbs sit for probably about an hour to just kind of just sit to the side uh, in the bucket for about an hour or two. Then after that time, what I'm trying to do is let the herb kind of settle from being cut into like um, being cut from outside. Okay. Just a means to not shock it. Okay. Then the next thing I go ahead and do is that after like an hour or two hours, next thing I do is, is that I get a big, a large plastic bowl, okay, like, like clear or white bowl or whatever, it can be a black bowl too. I like to use a clear bowl personally, um, it's a little bit easier for me. Um, and then I put the fresh herbs, depending on how much herbs I've gathered, if I have a full bucket of herbs, I will divide it up. So I'll put the first half of the herbs that I've gathered into the white plastic bowl. And then um, next, I will fill the bowl with water. I don't pour the water directly on top of the herbs. I pour it on the sides of the bowl um, as a means to not shock the herbs. Now, the water temperature I use is based off of the temperature outside. So if it is a cool day when I gather the herbs, I use cool water. If it's a warm day, I try to let the water temperature match that of, you know, the weather that day, you know, so I just match the, the water temperature with the weather temperature essentially, okay? I do not use super hot water or anything like that. I use cool water to warm water, okay? So that's what I use. Okay, 